Hey guys, welcome to Green Turtle Key. Um, I am new to this vlogging soul crush video kind of thing, but um, I wanted to show you. Um... Hey guys, welcome to um, Green Turtle Island, um, as I call it, because I mess up saying key as K all the time. So C-A-Y here in the Bahamas is key, not K. Just a fun fact. Um, so we just got here and this week we are planning to give you an update on Pirate's Rest and uh, installing or assembling, installing uh, the cabinets for the kitchen and um, doing some concrete countertops. So we have a friend here from uh, the US, uh, his name's Craig. Uh, he is gonna be showing us uh, how to uh, do the, the concrete countertops. He's gonna help us install, ass assemble and install the uh, kitchen cabinets as well. Um, of course, Captain Chris is working really hard at um, finishing up Pirate's Rest and we'll definitely give you a little bit of a tour. Um, I just wanted to show you this view. So uh, we came here for, I don't know, maybe five years ago and we fell in love with this island, the people, everything about it. So about a year ago, we purchased Pirate's Rest. Uh, it took eight months to close and then Captain Chris has been working really hard um, to get it up and running for us but I wanted to show you this view. This is Coco Bay. This is one of the prettiest beaches, I would say, in the world. But I'm biased, because I love it. We actually purchased a lot, um, just a little bit down the road. Um, so now whenever we come here, we try to rent an Airbnb um, that's on this bay, because it is definitely gorgeous. Uh, we love it because it's always calm. The water is amazing. Um, Sean likes fishing in it. He likes to catch the barracudas. Uh, I just love the views. Um, but anyways, uh, this episode is an uh, update on Pirate's Rest and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. The seas are really bad right now, so we are unable to spear or even go out into the ocean. So we're gonna spend the first few days at Pirate's Rest helping as much as we can both my husband and I are not good at that stuff, but we'll help as much as possible. And then uh, we hope to bring you on one of our spearing or fishing adventures as well, to show you a little bit of the island life and why we love it so much. <laughs> hope this all turns out. <laughs> got the new side-by-side -side shipped over, got here in one piece. We got Shay flown over, he got here in one piece. And we are gonna take some supplies and go show you guys the uh, update on Pirate's Rest. Let's go. You guys here, first here. He's gonna be nice to me if I go pro. Cause this one, he's done with it. He wants to just have a vacation. He wants to do spring break. I was being nice to him, he's just on vacation. So this is what we used to, on the golf cart, be tortured with. These uh, roads are not very good for a golf cart. We have, um, this is our first time driving with our uh, UTV on it, and it's our road to our house. And it's actually, it's actually not too bad. Pretty it's tall. amazing. I mean. What do you mean not too bad, princess? This is amazing. Hey, you said you were gonna be nice. Princess is nice. Within reason, but within reason. Within reason. It's really cool. Yeah. He said he's been landscaping for three weeks down by Coco Cottages. We have to take a peek. He's gonna keep dragging this out for you guys. You missed our turn. You missed her turn. <laughs> Wouldn't say I missed it, Bob. <laughs> So on 
the boat ride here, we met the guy that bought Rudy. these. Rudy. And these, his wife. And his wife that bought uh, coconut cottages. And he is... Coco Bay cottages. Coco Bay cottages. And he's restoring them. Um, so they're going to be our neighbors. But the funny thing is, is he told us that he's only been on this island four times. And he bought all these houses to restore. Which at first I thought was crazy and then I thought about it and Sean and I were only on Green Turtle four times before we bought Pirate's Rest so I guess we're crazy too. Something about this island. <laughs> so again, it was Dad, big, was dirty again. how do you feel about our house so far? It's looking good. It's looking like a house. Look at these ceilings. This is crazy being inside of here. Emily? Yeah. You never know what you're looking at. No. You're, you're, you're not good during construction. You're probably overwhelmed and think this is never going to be a house. No, I, I like the posts that are down the walls. Looks good. This is the first time. This is the first time they've done skip trawl. That looks really good, Chris. You like it? Why don't you guys do that in every house? Then you can hide all your blemishes. Yeah, we do. The smooth is like so hard to hide anything. Like even the waviness in a wall on an older house, mm -hmm. the skip trawl hides all that because you can't ever see a glare. We do, but not this section. You, you do. Yeah, you do the knockdown. Yeah, knock down one, some yeah. people do the spray pop on. Yeah. One again, the other house. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good. Did Emily see this yet? No. This is cool. So nice. This is a So nice. Here's the shower. Emily, you got in here yet? No. Look at how nice this is. Yeah. And this is the this is the smaller one, right? This is the. Oh, this, this is the big one. The other two are small. Yeah. 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 And the smaller ones in here, and then the other two are the same size. Yep. This is like a perfect fit. Yeah, this is gonna ride all over here. Let's go say hi to the guys that are building this. How are you doing? Good day. You wanna say something? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. 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 This is this side, looking good. Perfect, beautiful Bahama blue. Peek inside. Ooh. Got the materials, everything. This house is gonna look beautiful. And then do it on the outside because that'll give you a little more elbow room. Otherwise, I think people are going to hit it and hit it to the inside. Yeah, it'll go right towards this stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that works. Hopefully, it doesn't fight you with the trim. The tile yeah. and. I ripped the trim. Yeah. The tile and that foam stuff that you wanted, that mm -hmm. three mm stuff, is all on that bolt as soon as they can. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It was supposed to be here. You know, didn't ship. Ready for this, Jay? Right, right. Because you see the windows, they were all drywalled in. And I was cutting them out. Look at the smaller so bathroom the bathroom first. Like that right there, Sean? These are probably that was temporary. Really in. <laughs> are these temporary? You don't think you should just cut them out? You don't think you could have just left them? You, you really worried about moisture? Yeah, the moisture will happen eventually. Yeah. Someone's gonna. So I told him to do drywall returns, but people keep giving him a hard time. So he told me somebody's gonna leave these windows open, and it's gonna melt your drywall. It's gonna stop. So he mold. talked me into doing wood trim, yeah. so that we don't have mold issues. And I said I totally agree. 
if we're doing something silly, don't let us. Yeah. That's gonna fit it's perfect. Get us you don't place. really have a ton of room for a, uh, well, the door only needs to go to here. Because what I had originally planned is that this is a counter, Emily. Yep, and we have that cabinet. Oh my God. You might have to just put that. Now that fan looks like it's going to be a little lower. Is that the very bottom? That's the bottom. Okay. That's the bottom. Yeah. And that's your eight feet tall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought the fan was then going to hang from there. And then right. So then six foot is going to get through. I mean, I ordered it and I, I don't know what I was doing, so. It's good. It's good. And the floor. Let's go check up the up. Let's go check out the upstairs. Looking like a real house, Chris. Yeah, that's crazy. Pretty trick yeah, coming up with like a one thing. hand. So close. This is the upstairs. Ooh. Looks good. Very good. Let's go aside. Look at this. Beautiful. This is gonna turn out so good. Trying to put the stairs in later this week. This is another bathroom. Oh, you did dirt rock up here. The shower. Yeah. I did. Just for the hell of it, or what? <laughs> no, it's gonna strengthen your force, especially when you're walking on the. Uh, on the it's a double. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty high up here. Got another room. And another bathroom. How you doing? Good. Party in the kitchen. <laughs> Slash living room. First, uh, the first coat was uh, the thing mopped twice. It's just water. I'm really concerned with just water. Then, you have to put a TV there. Uh -huh. The couch. That island sticks all the way out here, right? Yes, sir. And then your stool. So your couch can't go past here, really. <laughs> And the TV's big. Today's day two of um, being on the island, getting all set. So Sean's back there um, telling our friend Craig. Um, and this is the kitchen table. We're on the first tour. <laughs> um, today we're going to be assembling the cabinets and hopefully installing them. Um, everyone's working really hard and it's really becoming a house. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? You need a cabinet pantry. Yes. I didn't know that that was that close. I just realized that. I'd have to look at the plan. I think what we're going to have to do is just build shelves, right? That are removable. You'll have to have open storage here. I didn't realize this yeah, was that either. close. Yeah, because that's where the pantry goes. That's the coffee the station, coffee. Right? Yeah, I think the pantry. Right. The, the cabinet. Don't you need this to clean it up the one time, though? Yep. Yeah. Aren't you worried there's a baffle in between that you can't? Oh, no, the key. You can just go right across. You can? What? It's wide open. <laughs> Swim across? Yeah. It's deep enough. Oh, they would have, they're going to empty it when they go to clean it. They'll be able to walk around in there? Yes, sir. So what I'd like to do is just use some TNG, mm -hmm. make a new cover. Mm -hmm. Would that be flush? That yeah. looks about the right thickness. It. I'll just add some some one by strip brick, and then the TNG yeah. on top of it will flush it. Yeah. Piecing it together. Yeah. It's, uh, it's unlevel, so uh, ripping different uh, like eight different size the pieces that are the same. And, and this, this is just my That should be all George screws. Mm -hmm. These will run straight across. No, it's not. So that is where our uh, water source is. It's called the cistern. Um, rainwater. They do have city 
rainwater here, but rainwater is better for you. So um, that is if we need to clean it out ever. So that kind of needs to stay not um, under the tile. These gray ones are going to be the island, and then we got the white ones, and we have um, Shay here helping out too, doing the glue. Say hi, Shay. Hello. Say hi to your family, Shay. <laughs> Still going to be a mystery in the world forever. Yeah, when I put the second coat on it, you can get it. Don't give away your secrets and everybody will know how to pickle. <laughs> That's true because I show them. You can brush it like brush. Yeah. Just drag it. Drag it and yeah. you can come back over. Okay. That's why when you stop, you got to be able to jump down quick enough to keep it going. Because then you're creating a wood grain, right? Right. And then you're going, you're going to see streaks all over. Yeah. Second coat, pickling. Chris, do you have a key to the, the side door in the trailer? He's got the lock. He has it. Okay. So it'll take me a while to dig to the sink if I don't go in there. So this is the process that Juice did on these ceilings by hand. Make it amazing. See how this top of the right wall. How's it going, John? I just got these cabinet doors installed. I'd say it turned out perfect. <laughs> it's a new overlapping style door. I to see it go for it. I gotta adjust this a little bit right here. <laughs> cool. Hey, Sean. What? Are you going backwards? I always go backwards. I'm a construction guy. <laughs> what happens? You have to go backwards to go forward. Huh? You have to go backwards to go forward. <laughs> Sean's favorite thing in the whole world is to tell me to never go backwards. So we might be leaving to go anywhere and um, I forgot my phone or my water or something and he tells me we never go backwards. False. He is going backwards right now. Right now, one of the the cabinet. Suddenly, we're almost done. They're just finishing up this last cabinet. It should be on the right side. Just try do the drywall. Screw the drywall. It is looking like a real kitchen. It's crazy. How is it? Good. Dad said I have to come pick you up. Okay. <laughs> Shay wanted to come downtown to play with the kids. You vlogging? I am. Say hi. Hi. You, you are a YouTuber? Um, trying to be. I, I want to watch your videos. <laughs> so, Shay wanted to come downtown to play basketball with the kids. He's been down for like two hours by himself. Three hours. And he said he did good. Did you do anything, any stupid things? No. Sean always asks, or always says when he leaves, don't do anything stupid. So just gotta check it out. All right, heading back home.
working on the kitchen. They the sink. are. Um, the sink isn't really helpful for this. It's kind of like a bell on the edges. Putting these, what are these called? The formsies. Formsies around the corners, and then they'll be pouring the concrete in. So right now it's taking a doing a lot of measurements to make sure everything's even and... And Emily brought, bought the wrong sink, so that's what they're fighting with right now. She bought the wrong sink. This is not a concrete counter sink. This sink ain't is concrete counters. Um, to my defense, I didn't know we were doing concrete countertops. And all I knew is we needed an undermount sink, which that is. So, here we are. You weren't gonna give me a hard time. It's a mount me sink. <laughs> Wanna mount me? Uh, dad jokes. So our friend Craig has done these countertops, these concrete countertops for a while now. So he is teaching um, our friends here in the Bahamas how to do it. So we're trying to get the right consistency and then they'll a stressful process. They're over there tapping to get the bubbles out and um, yeah it's like a you gotta go fast or there's it's gonna dry so I don't know. I wouldn't want to be Craig right now. Hi Emily. Hey. What do you think Shay? It's really cool. Don't touch. It's still too wet. Where are you name it? So today's Friday and um, we decided to bring some beers for the guys. They've been working really hard all week. 
Um, we went spearing today, so I'm excited to see what the countertops look like now that they're dried. Um, they were really shiny and darker than what we were expecting last time we saw them. So I'm excited to see what the kind of creek, um, countertops look like after uh, 24 hours of drying. Um, so I just got some light from the States and um, we're gonna bring them up for the guys and check out the countertops. I'm good, I'm good. They're strong women. I gotta see. I gotta see what the dried might, countertops might, might look important. like. Huh? I gotta see what the dry countertops look like. Okay. Here you go. It uh, might look like you. Might look like that. So you don't think I could get that job in the Oh, those lightened up quite a bit. Very nice. So the next step is they're gonna. Well. I think this is what they're gonna do. I don't know. I'm not a concrete expert, but I think they have to like buff it or sand it, put the primer on, and then they take these um, forms. They'll take those off, and then we'll have countertops. So uh, they say you can't use them for about a month, and um, then they're good to be used and be abused. So. Anyways, I can't wait to see the final product. This house is really coming along. It's straight? Looks good. Okay, yeah. I like how the, it looks, um, it was really dark yeah. and it yeah, lightened up. Dry, it dark, so you're leaving it like that? So they're gonna uh, sand it? And then mm -hmm. polish it. Polish it, right. seal yeah. it, and oh, then they take okay. the forms yeah. off. Yeah, and the black thing right. coming off. Yeah. I, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. We had this at our old house in Wisconsin and it, we liked it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I'm excited to see it when it's done. All right, but, yeah. So all right, sure. have a good night. Yeah, be wait till late tonight. <laughs> I mean, that's our break right now. Yep. <laughs> what are you guys doing tonight? I think he's doing the drywall upstairs and I'm trying to get all of the crown molding and the baseboard. Trying yeah. to get them to so we can close this up. Yeah. Get the cooler the same, I know, same color as our siding. <laughs> Did you do that? Look, our house matches our cooler. <laughs> All we wanted in life was a house that matches our cooler. Going home day. Uh, it's been a great few days and uh, Pirate's Rest has really come along. But it's time to go home to the puppies. Um, we'll be back in two weeks with the rest of the Soul Crush crew. Um, and hopefully we'll be staying at Pirate's Rest. So. Um, Dad, this is our goodbye. Look, nope, look this is you. our see you later. And um, I'm super, super thankful for everything that um, the crew at Pirates Rest and Chris Jones has done. Um, Pirates Rest has really come a long ways, and um, we couldn't be happier. So we're at the public dock. Uh, Chris is going to give us a ride to the ferry um, on Treasure Key, which will take a taxi to uh, the Treasure Key uh, Airport, and then take a ride to Stewart Airport. So that is our uh, ending. So hopefully you guys you got enjoyed, and um, we'll come on, later. Miss, time to go home. Time to go home. See the pups. Bye bye. <laughs>